Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I am the artist and upcycler and business owner behind a business called Hannah Banana Creations where I create home decor from upcycled items, wood salvage, thrift flips, furniture, upcycles, you name it. In this video, I'll be showing you how I made some upcycled home decor using some fan blades and some spindles. And this is in a collaboration with other members of my creative business coaching group, so be sure to check out their summer decor videos as well. I found these fan blades at my local restore. They were only 50 cents, so they were a pretty good score. The first thing I did was use a drill to remove the hardware because I won't be needing that part for this project and maybe I'll use it for another project, we'll see. Now these fan blades will be the wings of the dragonflies that I will be making for this video. And I have made these before so I did have a template on hand so I just traced that. Every fan blade is different. They're all different lengths, sizes, widths, etc. And I think I did about a 17 degree angle cut on this. You just need to play around with it a little bit and see what works best with whatever fan blades you have on hand. Whatever angle you make your cuts at, you just wanna make sure that they come together in a slight V shape. Now, whatever angles you cut for your top set of wings, you wanna cut the opposite angles for your bottom set because the top set points up and the bottom set points down. So it's a little bit confusing, but as you go through it, it does make sense and it all comes together. Now this is the part where you are attaching all your wings together. I took some scrap pieces from the areas I had cut off earlier and just cut off little strips and little notches on the top and bottom and fit those in between the bottom two wings and then cut off another piece for the top and attach that to the back of the wings. Then I fit everything together using those little pieces I cut out and some wood glue and to make sure everything was reinforced, I attached everything using some nails. To ensure that all four pieces attach together, you do wanna make sure that your top two wings overlap slightly with your bottom two wings. And then I reinforced everything again with some nails. For the body part of the dragonfly, I'm gonna be using some table spindles. The best kind to use for this project are ones that are longer, like above 20 inches. So table spindles work best for it instead of chair spindles. Now that everything is cut and ready to go, it is time to paint and make it look cute. I love that these fan blades had some caning in the middle, but I didn't really like the fake wood look in the background, so I took some natural looking spray paint. This is just something I got at a local hardware store and sprayed the caning in the center so it would lighten it up a little bit. I took some chalk paint in this really pretty light blue color and just painted the edges of the fan blades to make it look a little bit more like wings. And I wanted something fun, light, and bright, so that's why I chose this light blue color. And if I messed up a little bit, I just took this rag and wiped it right off. I did do two coats of this all over the piece just to ensure I had everything fully covered. I wanted this dragonfly to be a little bit on the lighter side, so I just painted the spindle in this cream color. This is just a chalk paint, and a little bit of a pro tip when you're painting spindles, if you go side to side like this, it does make it a little bit easier in going around the rounded parts of the spindle. After everything was dry, I did distress it a little bit. And then here is how the final result of this dragonfly turned out. When I went to my local Habitat Restore to find these fan blades, I was lucky enough to find not one but two sets of fan blades with the caning in the middle. So I did a, another dragonfly. And I also wanted to keep this one a little bit on the lighter side, so I just did a white on the outside edges. And then I also painted the center in this really fun green color. After a few coats of chalk paint and distressing it a little bit, I attached everything together. This is the method I used to attach all the dragonflies in this video together. First, I dabbled on some wood glue in the areas where the spindle touched the fan blades, and then I took these large clamps to hold everything in place. That way it would make it a little bit easier when I nailed everything in.
To make sure everything was super secure and that the spindle was very much attached to the fan blades, I flipped it over and used my brad nailer and did several passes with my nail gun to make sure everything was really secure. And here is the final result of this dragonfly. If you are interested in purchasing any of these pieces shown in today's video, they are available on my website, so be sure to check out the link in the description below. For this dragonfly, I was putting a really bold transfer over the top, so I painted it in this really light yellow color. And then to contrast with that color, I painted the center in this really pretty purple color. The reason I chose this color palette for this dragonfly is because I was putting this really bold transfer on the wings. This is the Wondrous Floral Transfer from Redesign with Prima, and if you would like to try it for yourself, be sure to check out my affiliate link in the description box down below. Now this isn't your typical square shaped piece of furniture that to put a transfer on, so it was a little bit tricky. First thing I did was tape everything down and then I flipped it over and traced every wing one at a time. Using some scissors, I cut out each traced shape. Now, when I first did this, I did measure a little bit off. As you can see in the corner there, it is slightly shorter, but I just cut a new part and blended that all together. There was a little bit of the transfer still left, so it was fixable. I am using the transfer tool from Redesign with Prima to apply this piece. This is a separate tool that you can purchase from them. I like to use this tool, especially on bigger transfers like this, because it does have a wider edge. It makes it easier to apply, but every transfer does come with its own applicator stick as well. And after distressing and sealing this piece, here is how this one turned out. For this last dragonfly, I painted the wings in this really light sage color. Again, I was putting a pretty bold transfer on this one as well, so I wanted a light color to make sure that all those details would stand out. For this spindle, I painted it in this really pretty dark forest green color, and I thought that would contrast really well against the light wings in the sage color I'd already painted. And then I added some transfer scraps that I had in my stash on the wings of this piece as well. If you wanna try out any of the transfers from today's video or this transfer tool, be sure to check out my redesign with Prima link down in the description. Then, like I had done with the other spindles on the other dragonflies, I gave this one a light distress on the edges just using some 180 grit sandpaper. And here is how this one turned out, and honestly, I think this one is my favorite. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like content like this, upcycling, DIYs, furniture flips, anything like that, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on the other social media platforms to see more behind the scenes and follow for more upcycles, DIYs, and furniture flips.